Hello, so this is another video I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware for the thrones for you. This is the smaller uh, size controller we have. Uh, now from time to time we release updates for it to improve functionality and uh, even support more features. Um, so I plug it directly here with a USB cable, the same cable I'm using uh, on the platform. Uh, you can leave it plugged in and uh, leave the DP25 cables uh, connected. This is the AMC controller there. Or uh, you can just uh, disconnect it temporarily to bring it over uh, to do it on a laptop if it's uh, easier for you. Uh, then um, you'll have to download the updated files from GitHub. Um, let me zoom through here. So you'll have to download the relative uh, zip file, this is for the thumbs for you, uh, that's the latest one, uh, 519, uh, unzip it so you can see the hex file, uh, then also download the uh, thumbs for you uh, Avir UBT uh, program, that's with the presets all set so you can just run it and select the file, I'm gonna run it now quickly, open it, so let me get up here. Uh, all you have to do is, uh, since you have it connected already, uh, you have to go to the options, select the COM port. Just, uh, it will automatically detect the COM port there. Or if there are multiple ones, make sure you collect the one you're using for the controller. And click OK. And then uh, let's open the file. You have to browse and uh, find the file you unzipped. This is the uh, latest one I have right now, uh, fix 9-4, open, and then uh, all you have to do is to click download and then press the reset button on the controller. And then you'll see it starts the percentage of uh, uploading the film order. And also you can see the controller itself. I have a few LEDs blinking, showing the progress. So this is really fast, uh, the pro progress for the thumbs for you, so it won't last uh, uh, more than 30 seconds perhaps. So once done, you'll see that uh, uh, let me press reset again. You should do all the blinking, make sure everything's working. And you can confirm everything was uh, success here, update success. How long it took? 32 seconds. And uh, it looks fine. So first of all, you want to do after the update is to uh, restore defaults. If you want to restore defaults for 100 millimeter, you can hold the up button and then press the reset. It will blink for about 10 times. And, uh, that's it. Or if you want to restore for 150 millimeter, you can press the down button, hold it, and press the reset. And then it will do a little different blink. And then set again. And uh, all the, that's all there is. Uh, also, if you want to use a second one, that it's uh, to be used on a, a traction loss platform, for example, or search platform. Um, you can easily define it. Uh, uh, for example, I found to my actuators that are 150 millimeter, so I can uh, set the dip switch one to on, select the uh, 150 millimeter, and restore defaults for 150 millimeter for horizontal actuators. So what that means is that uh, uh, it will automatically park all the actuators on the controller. Um, uh, like a, let me show you an example. I'll plug a little tester I have to demonstrate right here. So this acts like an actuator, so it will calibrate itself. Oh, let me see here. So it will calibrate and go to the 50%, which is 7,000. 
zero. It, uh, it calibrates in the middle. Uh, so it will stay parked 50%. So attraction loss, it will, it will always be parked and 50%. So you can turn it off at being all straight up. Um, again, if you want to restore the default quickly without opening any configuration programs, uh, let's hold 150 millimeter and then reset. It will reset it. But for horizontal, for the vertical actuators, so it will park all the way down. See, you can go all the way up, but then it will park back to zero. Uh, so, just a little reminder: it's easy to reset defaults for uh, uh, all of these actuators, 100 millimeter or 150 millimeter. Uh, that's about it. Then you can uh, take the controller and. Uh, plug it uh, back on the uh, rack with uh, servo drives and uh, it's gonna be ready to use. Right. Thanks for watching.